All right, I think we're ready for the next phase. And we're gonna string some boards all up along the outside of the eaves. I feel like the top of our dome is kind of looking like a Mexican hat. I think this is uh, very cool. Jess is back in the saddle. Now, I got some wood to cut out. How's it going, y'all? How's it going? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. And me. Who is? Jessica. <laughs> Jess and I were building our own earth bag dome here. Our own earth bag house off grid here in the Arizona desert. We have got a lot of work to do. So right now, Jess is going to head up top. She's going to double check my work, make sure everything is looking on the up and up. She's very detail oriented. So she's going to let me know whether I'm done up there, whether we're A-OK -okay to move on to the next phase, or whether there's more to do. Ready to head up there? I'm ready. It's actually kind of fun getting up there and kind of walking around. It's uh, feels a lot better than it did when uh, originally. But you just got to watch out for all the wires. <laughs> Need to head up there with you, or you think you got it? Just basically take a look around. Tell me what you think. What am I looking for? I guess uh, how level it seems. Oh, oh, and coverage of the wire. First impressions. What do you think about the wire coverage? Wire coverage seems okay to me. What about the level? Or did you want to take a walk around from down here? I think it, I might be able to get a better idea of seeing it from down here. Does that part seem lower to you? Okay, we got the uh, bringing the water level back up and we're going to level the boards, but more accurately. I'm glad I brought Jess out here. That way we were able to get up there with the water level. And now I know a little bit more accurately exactly what areas I have to work on. So I got three, maybe four areas that I just got to lift up a little bit. And then I think the eaves will be looking really good. All right. Back in the saddle again. Giving it another try. Try number, what, three or... <laughs> but this time you're going back to the uh, try to true, right? Just painting directly on there, no stencils. Simple. Simple or not, I feel like it's gonna be amazing. So I'm back out here by my makeshift sawhorse or trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick measurement, see how many boards I can cut out of this. If I can get four, that would be great. Well, we're not getting four pieces out of it. We can get three. That's okay, that's okay. Let's cut this down to three pieces. We'll get it up there and we'll just kind of see how it looks. See if I need any more material. Anticlimactic. <laughs> All right, got my pieces and uh, let's get them up to the top. Uh oh, more progress. Ooh, I'm liking where you're going with the design. Now that I'm inside, crew's got to come up to the door. He's like, hey guys, now that you're in, I want to be in too. Oh, uh, he's just chilling by the door. Well, I've run into a little bit of a problem. Not a huge problem, just you know, a delay like usual. So those boards that I had, it was literally just enough to sort of level out this one section. It's looking really good, but I still have like two or three more sections to, to level out. So I'm going to need more boards for sure. 
I just don't know when I'm going to be able to get them because all the stores are closed now or tomorrow. Unless I make a trip all the way to the big box store, but I don't know if I want to do that. Ugh. What can you do? <laughs> but this section's looking really good. I'll have to level out those other ones another day. That's all I can do for right now. Did Mama put you outside? Were you being a bad boy? Were you being a bad boy? Crew, you need a walk? Crew cam. Right by the steps. Want that bone close to home? Great. Gonna be working on this into the night. Mm -hmm. Showering them with goodness. I think their water's frozen. Uh oh. Usually I don't have to worry about that, but it's been cold every morning. Every morning. <laughs> they can get some water at least. Well, today is another day. I decided. To go without plywood, I'm just gonna try and put some pallet wood up there. Got plenty of pallet wood, and we'll see if I have enough to cover the last dip. I think there's only one more dip. I better go up and uh, and double check. Hey, you guys want to go up and double check the dips with me? Come on, let's go. Let's check it out. So this is technically the first dip, but I don't have to do anything about that because that is where the water will run off of this. I think this is the dip. I think this is where I have to raise it up just a little bit. There's our kitchen septic barrel. But uh, you guys have to check out this view, man. beautiful up here let me take you to the other side let's go all the way around the dome all right now we got to get down Thank you for taking that little trip with me around the dome. Now I got some wood to cut up. I think we might have it, y'all. All right, I think we're ready for the next phase for the eaves 
and uh, I'm gonna pull out those boards and I'm gonna start cutting the strips. I'm glad I actually put them in the shipping container because we ended up getting a little sprinkle of rain out here. Keep them dry, right? I got trapped. <laughs> I brought these panels over to the top of our root cellar because this is really the biggest, flattest space I could think of in order to get this done. So I'm probably gonna need to take off a couple of these boards on one of these ends. I'm looking to cut eight foot long strips out of these. So I just clamped this two by four to the sheet to give me a straight edge I need to cut that board. Uh, I think that worked out real nice. I should be able to cut these fairly quick with that method. All right. I'm loaded up here with some ammo. And my weapon of choice. And we're gonna string some boards all up along the outside of the eaves. This is uh, from Jess wor Jess's words, but uh... What was that you were saying? wondering if I look like a gargoyle. That's uh, that, those are your words. <laughs> Which is the prettiest gargoyle I've ever seen. I don't know about you, but I feel like the top of our dome is kind of looking like a Mexican hat. So you know what they say, a natural build like this needs a good boots and a good hat. And we might have taken that a little too literally. You've been working on this for what, like weeks now, putting up those boards and all the, the different wire. kinds of wire, attaching it all, and now we put that flexible, those flexible boards up there. All these things have kind of multiple functions. Everything we have up there is kind of used to support like a ferro cement structure that we're going to put up there, which will act as a little bit of a walkway for when we try putting up straw bales. It'll also act as a gutter, so all the water that's coming off the top of the dome should be able to collect down there and move toward the back of the dome, which will funnel into a cistern that we'll have back there. And those eaves will provide a little bit of protection for the wall beneath it and a little bit of shade. When it's all said and done, this might end up kind of looking a little mushroom-like if uh, it turns out the way we want. But I'm okay if it just has a little hat too. <laughs> now my main concern is, will this be difficult to get down in? It might not. You could just bend those out, eh? Thanks for your help. Well, we got the boards going all the way around the dome. It's looking nice. Now I need a way to kind of connect those boards together. And then uh, I think I'm gonna wrap wire going from the back to the front of the boards. And then this should be ready to go. So some mighty fine jugs you got there. Nice, looks beautiful. And look at this plate. Oh. <whistles> looks like you bounced back well from that. That looks beautiful. I think this is uh, very cool. Jess is back in the saddle. How are you feeling? You feeling kind of recovered? 
after those losses from the other day? Yeah, a lot better. So awesome progress on the eaves. I got to find a way to attach those boards to themselves. And then I got to put more of that screen material going around those flexible boards. Meanwhile, where, what's your next move on the window? Well, I still have to paint uh, a few more bottles and then we'll be uh, taping the bottles together, getting them all ready, and then installing the bottle window. So much work's been done and so much is uh, coming up. So whew. definitely stay tuned y'all for the next video. Man, I can't wait to see that window come together. I'm excited. <laughs> all right. Bye.